Howdy folks, uh, welcome to another episode. Uh, it's a loner again today. Uh, I'm all on my own. Uh, same as I'm gonna be tomorrow. All on my own. Uh, I don't mind, you know. We're revisiting Ashby de la Zouche today. Um, little town I've been to several times before. Uh, I've pretty much done all of it, although there are a few new ones today uh, that I haven't visited. Uh, so that's gonna be nice. I was like getting into some new pubs as well, getting those numbers up. Uh, we hit 2,500 pubs. Uh, if you just watched the, the last video, uh, Congleton that, that was in, um, which was nice to, to hit a big milestone. So I'm feeling fresh to Daisy, because uh, that was five days ago now, Saturday, uh, Thursday today. Uh, and I'm gonna start with a new one on me. It's not gonna be anything to write home about, I'm sure, because it is a Brewers Fair. Yeah, I mean, they are what they are, aren't they? Um, I'm just gonna nip in for a quick one uh, and then get on my way. This is on the outskirts of Ashby, just off the A42, uh, before you sort of get into the main town. I've got a bit of a walk on my hands after this to get down to the next one, which is also on the outskirts of the town, but I always do them. Then I'm getting into the town and it's all pretty condensed and close together once I get to there. So, follow me around, Ashby de la Zouche. Start number one, Flagstaff Island, Brewers Fair. Yeah, I mean, they are what they are, aren't they? It's a Brewers Fair. It's got a restaurant area, stuff like that. Um, Little bar area. It's got a real ales on, but as with all uh, the Doom Bar, as with all the, the sort of the chain pubs, things like, you pretty much know what you're getting before you go. Uh, it's attached to a Premier Inn, um, which is mostly quite useful uh, with the transport links to where it is. Is what it is. Start number one. Uh, Guinness two pound twenty eight for a half. Start number one in the bag. Oof. Right. So that was my that was my big walk. Um, it's the only real big walk of the day. Uh, Take me about half an hour. To get from Flagstaff Island um, out to the other outskirts uh, of Town Pub. Um, it's a nice one. We had some food here once uh, last time we came, uh, and it was very, very nice. Um, uh, they do ensuite rooms, uh, things here, carvery, all sorts. Um, nice looking, sort of food led house. Uh, it's lovely in the in the summer. That garden, I bet as well. But yeah, big old pub. The beaches. Stop number two on the Ashby de la Zouche tour. Uh, is the beaches. The gorgeous pub this. Uh, the food's really good. They do, they've got a couple of real hours and stuff on. They've got dog treats and things on the bar. It's just a really nice, uh, it's another food-led house. It's very well presented. Very beautiful looking establishment. Um, it's, one that, it's one that I really, really like. If we were gonna come for food in Ashby again, like this is definitely probably the one that I would head to. Um, well worth it. Lovely garden, lovely staff, good pub. I really like the beaches. Um, it's a really nice pub, so it's dog friendly. Dog menu, doggy treats, great garden outside. Just a, just a decent pub, that. Uh, 10 minutes walk uh, for now for Stop Sears, the Bluebell. This one, uh, it's, a, it's a managed house. Um, and when we came before, there was this the sweetest old couple in the world running this. So I hope they're still there because they were absolutely lovely. Um, it's, it's a, we're kind of towards, in, in the towny bit now, from you down here, you, I'm, I'm gonna get to the, the bit where all the pubs are. Um, and it's a really easy wander around Ashby. It's not a bad little day out. So yeah, stop number three is the Bluebell. So uh, the sweet little old couple don't still run it, which is a bit of a shame. They've obviously gone, so there's new people in there. It's still nice though. It looks, uh, it looks a bit brighter and more vibrant than the last time we came, uh, which is nice to see. A pool table in, a couple of hands on a bar, pedigree and a bass. Uh, yeah, it does look a little brighter, um, it? but I hope that sweet little old couple that we're here, they're here forever as well. I hope they are still doing well for themselves. But uh, stop number three is the Bluebell. Uh, just on the outskirts of town, really decent. Just, it's definitely worth the walk up. Good little, good little friendly locals, regulars pub. Always was, still is. Definitely worth a stop. Really nice new owners, uh, managers of the Bluebell. So I really hope that they have every success in the world there, because um, it's a, it's a nice little pub. Um, stop number four. So three minute walk down in towards the town to the Plough Inn. Uh, now this one has definitely had a little bit of a facelift since I was here last. Uh, apparently this has also got new management in charge now. So uh, I'm quite looking forward to uh, seeing the changes in here as well. Stop four plowing. The difference in this place now feels night and day. It's only like 10 and it's already bustling with people and dogs. Um, five hand pulls and stuff uh, on the bar now, five hand pulls, so that's good. Uh, new landlady seems really lovely if that's her behind the bar. Really welcoming friendly. It feels like a proper pub again now. Um, and it's had a lick of paint, a spruce up in here, and it's done it wonders. Really nice to see the uh, the difference it's made. It's, uh, it's so nice to see that plough in absolutely thriving now. Um, yeah, the new owners obviously have been really good for it. It really does now look like a vibrant, great locals pub. Mix of age ranges in there. Really, really good. Um, really pleased to see it done so well. But 
thought I'd film this because uh, it shows you just how far my next walk is across the uh, across the old sort of square roundabout and things. Right in front of you, just there. That is the uh, the Bowling Green Inn, and that is my next stop. Real old school, old feeling pub. Uh, they sort of split into two sides. Um, got some handfuls on. Got some Timothy Taylor landlord and stuff on. Uh, you can watch the uh, African Cup and Nations and stuff is on. This is, I mean, it's, uh, this is a proper old school old feeling pub pool table and stuff uh, through that back room over there you've got another little room round uh, to the side uh, that sort of joins the two together it's got a tv and stuff in as well so you can watch the uh, the sport on. um yeah nice nice feel to it always has done nice old pub there's a there's a roll of just down over there as well so it's making it nice and warm because it is freezing outside right the temperature is dropping rapidly uh, it's minus one again now uh second sun went in the temperature really did drop. That was my other longest walk. Uh, about eight minutes it's taken me to get from the Bowling Green in to the other end of the town, where the Railway Tavern, a uh, beautiful little pub, this pool table in one side. Um, it's not very big, nice, tiny, tiny little pub. Free house, really friendly last time we went in, glad to be back. But yeah, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not far to walk. And then literally it's even less far back to go to the social club that I'm going to next. So stop six is the railway town. Tiny, friendly little locals pub. It's dog friendly, said over over that side. Um, yeah, screen TV yeah, yeah. up at that end. Got the handfuls on. Uh, Bass and Timothy Taylor's landlord. Decent selection of the spirits and everything else. Yeah, that's the that's the full extent of the size of the pub. So it's like a little tiny street corner boozer, but it's always friendly. It's always nice in here. So we we liked it last time, and yeah, I like it again. Forward. Railway Tavern is a really sweet little pub. Uh, it's worth the walk. It's not a far walk, so it's worth the walk out of town. Next one up uh, is a brand new one on me. Uh, never even knew this existed. Never knew it was here, so we didn't do it last time. Don't necessarily always do social clubs and things anyway, but um, this got tagged in yesterday on the Facebook post to put up about being in Ashby. Someone said, come and do it. Uh, tagged in the social club themselves. They said, yeah, you're more than welcome. Uh, and they open at six, and it's like five past six. Look at me for timing. So, stop number seven. Yeah, you can hear it in my, like, the cold air now. It's, it's terrible to walk through, but um, luckily, uh, it looks warm in there. So this is stop number seven. I looks a nice, uh, looks a nice little place, doesn't it? This is the sort of thing that you just you like to, to sort of find. So there's there's a lot of people in Ashby apparently that don't know this is here, and they probably should because it's a uh, it's a lovely club setup uh, with stuff as well. So you can see through the sides and things over there. There are there are five beautifully preserved tables and things in there. Got dart sports as well. Three darts teams and things as well. The people that run it are lovely. It's a very nice, well kept club. Um, it's just. It's, it's the heartbeat of the community. A lot of community groups apparently come and use the place. Um, it's dog friendly in the bar area, which is nice. Got a decent selection on the uh, on the bar and things as well. It's just it's a really nice little club. Memberships uh, always always been accepted between twenty five uh, and forty five pound for a whole year. Uh, juniors right up to adults and senior memberships and things like that as well. So this is definitely worth come and check out and, and have a look at. So you can see it's a, be a beautifully presented club. So you've got some got some handfuls on. Got a bass on, which is always a favourite, isn't it? Very good bass. Things like that. Very good bass, I'm told. Very good bass, I'm told. Uh, yeah, it's a nice, vibrant little club. So, yeah, please do come and check these guys out. So, if you didn't know it was here, you do now. It's just behind the ESO garage. It really isn't hard to find. That is a really, really lovely little club. Um, and I'm glad to see it. I'm glad to see it thriving. Glad to see it in so well. Good bunch of members, apparently. Lovely people to run it. Just a top, top club. Three minute walk then, back to the town. We are literally now at the bottom of the, the main sort of drag, the main hide. My next stop is Wetherspoons. It's a Wetherspoons, like I said, I've got history with. This was the worst service we've ever seen at the Spoons last time we came. That's the high street bit up there. I, I'm, on the, I'm on the easy bit now. But yeah, let's uh, let's see if Spoons can redeem themselves. So the next stop is the Shoulder of Mutton Wetherspoons, isn't it? Uh, you can't knock them, really. Uh, £1.44 for half a shipyard. Can't wrong with that. Yeah. There's your Weatherspoons carpet. It's a, it's a big old spoon. Uh, big old, old building, stuff like that. Um, I'm proud to report though that the service was so much swifter. Despite the fact that the pub's busier, the service came with a smile and it was so much better than last time. So that's a massive improvement. However, the, uh, the bag, uh, the toilet full of uh, cocaine bags upstairs at up past six on a Thursday, that's a bit early for anybody to be going hard, surely. <laughs> I can't even word that out myself. They've redeemed themselves a little bit, Spoons, I suppose. Right, just over the road, it's a busy road that as well. Just over the road, uh, my next stop is the Cocktail Bar, which is kind of the back bit of uh, a restaurant. Uh, I can't think of what the restaurant, it's like a pizza restaurant, and the wine bar. It's all sort of one thing, so I'm just gonna do, uh, I'm just gonna do the Cocktail Bar bit. 
Um, no, I'm going to do the wine bar. I'll do the wine bar bit. Uh, and just have a half in there, and that's our next stop. So it's basically part of uh, Zamani's, the restaurant it's called, or Zamani's, uh, is the restaurant. Um, it worked really well because the courtyard and stuff outside, so this, this bar that I'm in, the wine bar, and the cocktail bar share a courtyard, it's always mega round the weekends and things like that, and it separates the drinks from the diners. It's a good idea. You won't find any hand pumps. But it's a sweet little, uh, sweet enough little bar. Um, yeah, and uh, it is a good idea because it does break in. It's going to have a restaurant, but they can also still have drinkers and stuff out here, so they've made really good use of the space. We're starting to get to the town's nitty gritty now. Um, and this, this next one, this is the town's craft union. You know I like a good craft union. I'm not gonna have three blue wickets to myself though again. Because there's, uh, there's an offer of a pound in the loft, the VK's for a pound. So you know I'll definitely end up having a VK in there. So uh, next up uh, on the, the one that up the, is the lamb. Now have a look at this beautiful old building. Oh look at that. How beautiful it is. Yeah, now uh, again, New ownership not that long ago, uh, from what I hear. So that's uh, that's uh, again that's progress. It can only be a good thing. Um, I'm not entirely sure if it was even the craft union last time we came to be honest, but they do buy buildings all over. So every town has a has a loud driver as well. But yeah, up next uh, I think this is stop number eleven. The lamb. It feels a lot more vibrant, um, a lot nicer in here than it did the last time we were in. There's been some serious end where the pool table is and stuff to the uh, to the dance floor area. But it's a big old pub. Um, Craft Union tend to buy decent buildings and then put them on. And under new management and stuff, this one looks like it's probably going to go from strength to strength. So, yeah, good work. Good work with us. <laughs> it's clear to see the improvement in uh, the lamb already in a short period of time. They said the, the new people in there haven't, they haven't been there that long already. Uh, and it's clear to see that that is shedding a, a long-term bad reputation uh, and definitely on the up, thriving, which I'm, which I'm really pleased about. Um, right, a couple of doors down in the old HSBC Bank building. Uh, the lounge brand, literally they opened yesterday. So this is a brand spanking new one. Just look at this build. That is Centivo Lounge. But yeah, just um, just take a look at that. What a, um, what a stunning building. I, so I know this brand really well. So I'm looking forward to going in and see what they've done with it. But yeah, that is a, that is a hell of a building. And I'm glad that they've, uh, they've made use of it on this high street because a building like that sitting empty. Lloyd's Bank here still sits empty as well. It's a crying shame to see such gorgeous building in So well done to uh, the lounge brand for, for getting this one back. Let's go and have a look inside, shall we? They've done the one thing with old banks that I absolutely love them doing. They've kept the, kept the vault door and everything like that. The, manager, the old manager's office and stuff, I would assume, is what is that here in the corner. But it's a, it's a classic lounge brand. It's very nice. They've done a spiffingly good job with this, to be honest. But it's, uh, it's nice to see. And yeah, keeping that old vault in is just, uh, just a good idea, isn't it? Just a great idea. Old vault door. Uh, yeah, honestly, the lounge that's really impressed me. Um, so I've done a lot of them, but it looks beautiful. I'm glad they've kept the vault in. Uh, the manager's office and stuff. It's a beautiful old building, and it'd be a crying shame to see it not used for something. So, well done, lounge brand, on a thoroughly top mark pub in your chain. Uh, a few doors down brings me. The tap at number 76, micro pub. Lovely little micro pub this is. Um, really enjoy being here again. We've been. <sighs> Names escape me at this time of night. There's one up um, by the little Derbyshire villages that we went to as well. I'm with the same people, it's really nice. Um, I love micro pubs. So, uh, tap at number 76 is next. Yeah, so just, just as I remember it, um, lovely little micro pub this is. It's kind of modern feeling, but still rustic, if you, if you understand what I mean. It's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's lovely. Um, Dog friendly, um, great selection on the casks uh, and the uh, the crafts and stuff. So I've gone for an LA Steam Steam beer lager, which is an interesting one. I like it to be fair. Different, don't see it very often. Uh, good selection of the uh, handfuls on. And everything else. And it's just um, it's just a decent vibe in micro pub. It's always nice to see micro pubs. Uh, it's nice to see micro pubs thrive, and this is certainly one that is always busy. Every time I've ever been in it, it's always been busy. Testament to what they do, isn't it? Right, straight out of Tapper number 76, and I've got a whopping great journey to the next one. Essentially across the road. I've all said, this is Ashby's oldest pub. Uh, it's a real history in this. And honestly, this is an absolute stunner of a boozer. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go into the bull's head. Then I've got a white heart, and I'll tell you the story about the bear. Looking forward to this. If you want to go outside of the craft beer bar, uh, craft beer bars, this is the one that does the best selection in Ashby without a shadow. You've got, you got your normal, your normal stuff on. But here you are. Look at these, Gamma Ray, that's what I've gone for. 
I love Gamma Ray. Neck oil from Beaver Town as well, Punk IPA. Plenty of the hand pulls on. Plenty of the other bits. They've got a, they've got a wicked selection. It's, it's just a it's a really old, rickety pub. Um, ceilings at different levels. Um, like the wall, walls that don't go together, beams, things like that. It goes all the way down. It's got a little bit down the back as well. It's a top pub. It's really dog friendly. It's got a dog of the week thing up on the wall as well. It's gone now, but yeah, you can watch the sport in here. You can have a good time. It's a, it's a really really good old booze of this. I, I really do love the bubble head, but uh, another one that I really, really love, I'm crossing the road again, I'm just going across, across, across. I'm like zigzagging my way through Ashby. Another pub that I really, really love, because there is such a story behind this as well. I'm gonna tell you, mate, it's about the bear and the landlord and everything like that. I'm gonna show you this, show you the thing in the, in the, in the floor as well. Is the White Hut. Um, and we've done, a, we've done a stack load of White Hearts all over the country. But uh, this is probably one of my favorite White Hearts in the entire country. Purely because of this bear story. In fact, hold on. There's a little plaque outside that actually tells you what it is as well, so I'm going to show you the plaque. So there it is. So, in the 18th century, the most lively house in town, famous for its tame bear and reputed haunt of highwaymen. The story is that the, uh, the landlord, whenever you get problem customers, uh, he had a, a real life bear in the cellar. And if he had a problem customer he couldn't deal with, he'd release a bear to get rid of them. A bear! An actual bear! And I'll show you inside what I'm in in a minute. Saying in this game, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And I know George. George is the assistant manager here. And look what he's done! To see the bear! Look, so this bear, they, look, and I'll show you from upstairs as well, but it stares through. So you can see tables and things up there. It stares through at you. Um, so you can, you from upstairs, but I'll, I'll show you the upstairs view in a minute. But yeah. oh, thanks, George. I'm not, I wasn't this excited on my wedding day. I mean, that, that's miraculous, but this is what I'm talking about. So this is what I'm talking about. So you come back up into the bar, and the bar is there, the bar is there, and this, this is what stares up at you from down there. It's that bear that we've just been down to see. And this is the story. Rowdy customers thrown out and had a bear set upon them. I mean, the police sometimes say they're going to set a dog on you, but no one has ever said they're going to set a bear on me. I mean, the police haven't said they're going to set a dog on me, but you know, I've heard it on cop shows and things like that. But I mean, that is it's pretty fast, especially. So they've also got uh, open mic night and stuff going on on the first Thursday of every month. They also have normal live music on Saturday and Saturday every week. Not necessarily from I've got them on the, uh, January. It's just Saturdays. But it's a banging little pub. So much history. Such a such a. So you can watch the sport. It, go, it goes on and on and on. They're friendly. We've also got a well that leads to the uh, leads to the tunnel system under Ashby. There are some stories and things behind that. You know me. I'm all about a little bit of culture and a little bit of history and a little bit of alcohol along the way. I'm having a great day. Honestly, I'm like a kid in a sweet shop uh, at seeing that um, seeing that bear. So I've got two Queen's Ed. Beautiful old building this, uh, and the loft is in the back of this part of uh, part of the same thing. So I'm uh, sneaking in with these two quick, and I've got brew to get to, uh, and then that's me done for the night. But yeah, I love I love the White Hart. Uh, proper live music venue, Dave. Proper decent pub. Just met the landlord as well. What a lovely fella. Um, I love Ashby. And Queen's Ed is the lower uh, part of the loft. So I've never been in the loft before. So the loft's a new one away, but I've been there before. The, the history in it, it's got a little roaring fire going. Look at the history, the beams, and everything. So you've got a real, you have got a real ale pump on. Got pedigree on, give us a wave. Hey, she's very lovely as well. She's putting up with me when there's no one else in it. But it's a, no, it's a lovely, lovely, the loft. So the loft is next. Um, Queen's Ed is, 15 of the day Nice math. Uh, and the VK pound offer it's on down here as well. I might have got two. Oh well This is pretty damn common. You wouldn't expect this is upstairs from where I've just found oh, like a nice little It's a nice little um, It's like a nice little cl little club space, but it, it also sort of goes into the uh, into the back where they've got some uh, some good sort of back rooms and things going on around here so it is, it is a decent venue, this late night venue that goes that goes on. Yeah, I absolutely love it. This is a banging idea. But it's such an old historic pub as well. That is it. That's it. That's a banging idea. Like that is, it's such an old historic hotel uh, and bar downstairs. Uh, Cherry downstairs on the bar. She's absolutely lovely. Um, and it's just the loft is it's, it's quite impressive to be honest. For you wouldn't expect to find that above such a historic pub. So I can see why that's the late night nightclub and stuff of the town. Yeah, very, very impressive. Um, karaoke going as well on a Thursday. I know it's a bit later, I'll be doing it. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Bar in. 
my last stop and I, you could say I saved the best till last because this is my favourite pub in Ashford. Shadow of a doubt, there it is. Brew is, um, it's run by wonderful people. It's a lovely place. They've got an open mic night going tonight as well. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to find a nice sour to, uh, to drink in here. And it's a wonderful way to finish off Ashby. And I love Ashby, I honestly do. And tonight just highlights the fact of how much I really do like Ashby. So last stop of the night is Brew. 17, about six hours I've been. Yeah, happy with that, happy with that. Final stop of the night, uh, Brew. I said, I, this is honestly, it's my favorite place in Ashby. I absolutely love it. So, uh, I found John. John the owner. Hi, Ross. It's, it's wonderful. Uh, his wife, Laura, behind a bar and stuff as well. But, um, the, uh, I, I've been presented with a, a wild berry sour. If you want to hear some 80s now, you'll hear the best 80s ever. The best 80s ever. Uh, they've got an open mic night. I mean, it's looking. Hey, here, give a wave. Got an open mic night on. It's, it's packed in here, as you can see. Like, it's packed all around. Um, this is what I love about like, it. It's a, it's a community. It's, it's a fun time vibe. It's a lovely camp. It's a lovely place. And um, this this is pretty incredible. Uh, that's my bit of This is incredible. Um, what a great way to finish Ashby. It's such, a, it's under, it's such an underrated, great little town. It really, it, Ashby deserves more. Ashby deserves more. Sadly back home. Um, love Ashby. It's a great place to be. Uh, brew superb. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, uh, off to New York tomorrow. Hit subscribe, hit like on the video. Cheers, guys.